This is a 1996 YZ252 stroke, and that is my 2022 YZ252 stroke. And this is one of the fastest MX2 races in the country, and today we're going to work out the difference. So we've got a modern bike going up against a 26 year old machine. Steel frame versus aluminium frame. But which is fastest? Let's find out. Like I said, the man who will be sending it on these two beauties is one of the best MX2 pilots in the nation. Tom Grimshaw is a long-time friend of the channel and a two-stroke fanatic just like us. He'll be hitting the track first on our brand new channel bike, which is this 2022 YZ250. We've brought this bike to act as the foundation for our new build project, in which we'll be transforming her into a YZM500 monster machine. So if that sounds like a project that will be right up your street, be sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss an episode of the YZM 500 project. For now though, sit back, relax and have fun watching Mr. Tom Grimshaw let rip an hour YZ250. <laughs> Let's see what he can do on the latest and greatest of two-stroke technology from Yamaha. Okay, so it wouldn't be a 999 laser retro shootout without a hot lap showdown. So Tom's hitting the track now on the, my 2022 YZ250, which is the bike that you guys know we've bought for our uh, YZM project. But we're just having a bit of fun with it here today before we crack on with that build. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave a playlist below in the description down below and you can check out the YZM500 project. But for now, Tom's about to lay down a heater on the 2022 YZ250. There he goes. How good does that sound? That sounds amazing, doesn't it? Stock pipe on that as well, so. Fair play, Yamaha, that's a sweet sounding 250. Put your predictions, your guesses in the comments down below, which bike you can come be faster on and by how much. Let me know down below. <laughs> Tom is looking good on the YZ250, the new one, 2022 bike. Doesn't ride 250 two strokes too much, has never raced them, but it looks comfortable out there. I think you'll agree. Corners to go for Tom Grimshaw on the 2022 YZ250, the latest and greatest in two stroke technology from Yamaha. And what can he do? This is the final quarter. <laughs> Faster second time around. Good Last job, one, mate. <laughs> Some oh. good times there, considering the conditions, how slick it is. Yeah. Fastest second time around. Okay. 144.32. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good lap time around our test track here. I think you set the bar high. 
on the new bike. So let's see what the steel frame 26 year old, what's a 250 can do out there? Yeah. Let's do it. So we've heard a lot about it already, but here she is. The 1996 steel frame YZ250 in all her glory. The mid 90s truly were the pinnacle of the 250 era and Yamaha were certainly no strangers at the front of the pack. The 1995 version of the YZ250 came out as the champion in many a magazine shootout. The 1996 edition however underwent some major changes and was pretty much a new bike from the ground up. Overall the testers of the time were left feeling a little disappointed with the 96. But today we ask this question, 26 years on, how well can Tom Grimshaw's 1996 YZ250 hold up against its modern equivalent? So Tom is now on board his 1996 YZ250 two-stroke, and he's about to set his hot laps on this bike. 26-year-old bike, here he comes now. And he's off. And that sounds pretty good too. Uh, this bike is not standard. Obviously, my bike, the 2022 bike, off the showroom floor, we've only just got it. So there's standard pipe, standard suspension. This thing, on the other hand, it might be 26 years old, but they've been using it to race at places like the Vets Motocross Test Nations. So this is like a race tune version of the 1996 YZ250. It's got some good suspension on it. The suspension that Tom used to run on his race bike when he uh, rode Yamaha's a few seasons ago. This is a special 96, it's not your standard off the showroom floor 96 YZ250, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the difference is here. He's on his hot lap now, see what he can do. A moment of truth, two corners left for Tom Grimshaw on board the 1996 YZ250 Tui. See what this steel frame bike is made of. Well, Mr. Grimshaw, predictions, what do you reckon? I'll tell you what, I think it's going to be really close because there's actually some corners, it being so slippery, it's actually quite nice to sit so low into the bike because I've yeah. put my weight down into the corners. But then there's other parts where I felt stronger on, on the new bike. So I think it's going to be really mega close. So let's remind ourselves, fastest time on the 2022 YZ250 two-stroke, the latest and greatest of two-stroke tech from Yamaha, 144.32. On this, the 1996 YZ250 with some special parts, HS pipe, good suspension. Fastest time was a 143.67. <laughs> Faster on the 26 year old machine. I knew it. I knew it. I say it says tracks in the most About a half second quicker, mate. I wasn't expecting that to be fair. Fair play. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah. I thought you'd get on this and go, oh, ugh. Mm. How, this feels so old. But it shows, goes to show how good these bikes were back in the 90s and yeah. if the motocross world continued to focus on two strokes, where would they be now? Because that's the thing. This I is don't still think, so strong. I can't really, there's not much difference between the two, I don't think, apart from just sitting a bit lower in the bike. I felt like the steering wasn't as good on this. Did and this feel heavier? A little bit. But that might actually help out there today yes. when there's no grip. You're, 
you get in the power to the ground just fractionally yeah. a little bit easier because it's heavier you're squatting in the new barn was lighting up a lot easier so this was a lot i think this just this felt also just didn't have that uh, punch of a new bike so i think that also helped with the conditions yep. today because it's so slippery actually having a little bit less power is actually gaining in the long run i think with the fast lap well i wasn't expecting that sounds like you was expecting that after riding both back to back literally back to back you jumped off mine straight onto that one let me know did you guess right were your predictions right let us know in the comments down below yeah that was a shocker <laughs>so if you enjoyed that video if you enjoy watching tom ride an old yz250 around this track make sure you subscribe to the channel keep an eye on the channel because in just a few weeks time this man is going to be taking on the vets motocross designations on that bike you can hear behind us that is a 2005 right yeah yz250 you're going to be racing in the what's it called the ultra evo class yeah 03 to 08 class uh, at, at the uh, vets motocross designations at fox hill and we're going to be there. We're going to be following Tom through the weekend. He'll have a GoPro on for us, uh, taking us for all the, all the action. So it's going to be a good weekend, isn't it? Awesome. That'll be awesome. So like I say, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date and to make sure you see that drop into your feed. As always, guys, my name is Max. His name is Tom. This has been 999 Laser. Till next time, we'll see you at the track. <laughs>